All right, this is Big Daddy Beardo's daily beard routine. Um, bear with me as I try this new app and uh, see if I can get this to work for us. Um, but I'm gonna walk you through pretty much what I do every day. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is pretty much show you what I do from start to finish. Uh, I'm gonna use probably numerous uh, different brands, different products as I do this. I'm not gonna name them by name, but you're gonna see them. You know, no particular products in general. Uh, just the ones that I really enjoy using. Um, and I'll show you how I turn this disaster into uh, what I think is kind of presentable. So uh, bear with me and uh, let's see how this goes. Have fun. All right, so step one, get your beard soap. Get a good soap, um, definitely. Um, my choice, good and wet. Obviously, it's not that good and wet. This stuff, one to two little wipes. This stuff is amazing. Favorite soap to use of all time. Get in there really good. And lather it all up into there. Um, a lot of people say don't squash it every day. I do, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm funny with that, but uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're all done with that. Step two, um, and then this one's kind of a new one for me. Is I'll take my uh, almost out beard butter um, take a thumbnail. Do, 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 do. It's hard to do one-handed. Get a good glob, rub it together, and then I'll put it on. Apply it while the beard is wet. Um, with this and the the balm that I'm going to use next, the uh, the hemp oil that's in there, um, I really feel thickens the beard up. This locks in like all that moisture from the shower and uh, everything else, but uh, I'll be back. Woo! -hoo. Once I'm done with that, I brush it through while it's still wet. Um, my favorite brush of all time. Walmart Special goes through really, really nice. Um, I've had an incredible, incredible brush. Hated it, didn't last, but uh, I'll be back. Now this step I don't do every day, but uh, I, I, once a week I usually, I'll come in, a little hard to do, and just kind of clean up the cheek line. Get those stragglers that just aren't growing anywhere else. The ones are twosies. Yes, I know I'm taking a razor near my face, but uh, just like to clean it up a little bit. All right, and now this is the part where it gets a little weird uh, for some, because a lot of people say don't blow dry, but uh, after putting on the beard butter and also my favorite balm to use, um, I will blow dry. But uh, take your normal amount of balm, whatever that may be. I use about that much, and uh, again, rub it together on your hands. Again, it's hard to do one-handed, so bear with me. But uh, got it in here. Um, and just really get it in there good. I mean, obviously, again, it's hard to do one hand, but I will bomb before blow drying. And get that all in there real good. Break out the blow dryer. And yes, I use warm. I don't care. Blow dry it out. Uh, fast forward two minutes. Yeah, 
guys. Trying to do the mustache. This is not my favorite part. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's see. All right, I break out my handy dandy mustache wax. Obviously, it's it's the uh, first generation. <laughs> um, but uh, take a little bit. I'll take about a thumbnail again, if that. Um, I'll probably need a little bit more, but I kind of working on the top. Work it in. And always get the ends. Uh, and it's not going to curl today, which I'm okay with. But I'll always uh, get the stash because it just keeps it out of the mouth without having to uh, trim around here all the time. Because we all know it's all we eat is mustache and stuff, so. All right. All right, and this is the step that uh, brings everything together for me. Get your uh, Yeah, come on. Running low. Running low. But this, I really like using. Um, thickens everything up again and keeps it all in there. Get it in there. Brush it through. And then you apply your favorite oil. Favorite oil to use. Um, again, it's hard, so just play along with me. I will use um, probably about a nickel sized amount of oil twice. And the reason I focus on the bottom is, um, and I've seen quite a few big beards, and I've had this conversation with a, one of my beard buds. Um, they're just big beards and they just look straggly at the bottom like that's my biggest fear is like do I cut the bottom off and clean it up or just let it go um, so I, I really think mine comes out nice at the bottom and uh, yeah so that's my daily routine keeping uh, the beard nice and clean presentable because um, I do work in a pretty professional job so you know, the beard has to be on point for them or else they're going to say, well, you got to shave it. No, no, not going to happen. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to show you um, in the next clip a couple of the vitamins and stuff that I use. Do they work? I don't know. This is just what I use. And uh, we'll be back. All right. So my vitamins, vitamin E, a little backwards, collagen. Niacin, and of course, the biotin. All four of those, pop them in, take my uh, my protein, and yes, I'm drinking 2% because I think I'm fat. <laughs> Wash them all down. And that's what I do every day with my beard. So, again, just what I do uh, seems to help me. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, but uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, check out any of the products I'd shown you. If you have any questions about them, shoot me a message, um, and I'll give you some details about it. Have fun, and uh, beard strong, beard long, and see you soon, buddies. The views and opinions expressed in the previous video are those of only Big Daddy Beardo. No, all products are owned by Big Daddy Beardo and none were donated to receive any airtime on this video. Have a great day. Blah.